I mean, you can't watch that game without noticing Tommy Townsend. I mean, Tommy, uh, he was outstanding for us. Uh, it was really good to see. You know, you saw him have those kind of days in practice where he bombs the ball, and we just didn't get – we've never seen him transfer to a game like, like he did, and, and it was really good to see. It was really He had seven punts, and, and he was really bombing the ball and, and placing it where we needed it, especially that one that went out on the one-yard line. That was amazing. Coach, for you, when you start getting the cut downs, how much – is that hard for you, especially since a lot of the guys do special teams work? Uh, you know, it's it's hard. Sometimes you lose guys that you want to keep. But, I mean, you, you go in, you make your arguments for, for guys, and uh, they have to be uh, solid offense or defensive players first, obviously. And, and then it's our job to turn those guys and are down the line into really good special teams players. And that's the way it works. Uh, we, we don't keep a lot of players just because they play special teams. That's not that's – not, what, what's really happening here? It's they, they got to play offense and defense first, and then, and then we turn them into better players. What did you see from Mike Hughes? Excuse me. Mike Hughes on the, on the game. Mike Hughes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's hard to understand with the mask. Oh, no. Sorry, <laughs> but Mike Hughes is uh, he he did a nice job. We put him in there, a punt returner and kick returner. The, the kick return, he really hit it. Did a nice job. Uh, we were coming out. We, I told our guys to come out no matter where the ball was kicked, and that's what the, that's why he came out eight deep. And uh, you know everybody got on their block. They did a good job blocking. I think we were one block away from scoring on that play, uh, but he really hit it. It was encouraging to see him do that. And you know he's. We knew he had return ability, and it was good to see it in a game. Say, say it again. I'm sorry. Oh, no, McCole. Okay. The thought process is I know what McCole can do. You know, and, it, and there's no sense in – we've got to evaluate the guys that are down. You don't get that many – you can never tell how many kick returns you're going to get. So if you want to see a guy, you better put him in there. So that's why we start. You know, you'll see other guys start, and even this week you'll see different people in there. Uh, we found out some things. We found out some guys can't play returner. You know, I mean, that's always good to know. And, um, you know, we didn't have any turnovers, but, you know, we saw some guys don't have exactly what you're looking for. Uh, you find that out. Uh, the good thing was we had a lot of reps. We had like 32 reps on special teams, you know. So it was really good for us to evaluate punt, punt return, kickoff, and kick return. So. Uh, Buster had a miss extra point. He did. I know we went round and round about that last year. Anything of note on that one? No, I, I don't. You know, I don't think we need to hit the panic button right now. I mean, he's he's had a really good camp. You know, he just kind of caught the ball a little bit high on his foot. It, and he, and he yanked it a little bit. Uh, it it kind of happened. It was during the game. He, he kind of developed that, and, and it was hard to hard to get out of it during the game. But his pregame was excellent. He actually hit two 62-yarders in pregame. That's why we tried the 62-yarder in the game. And plus, it's preseason. You want to see, you know, just how he can, you know, what his leg is. It's not, you know, it's not something you you, you probably do in a regular season game, you know, in that situation. But it was good to see, you know, he, he almost made it. I mean, he was probably about a yard and a half short. So. We're, we're happy with where Bucker is right now. He was 100% today, uh, you know, on a lot of kicks, and you know, so he's he's going to be fine. On the return evaluation, what would you see out of Darius Shepard? I know you, I know you had mentioned last week or two weeks ago that he was going to make. Yeah, he's he, he's, he's a solid catcher. You know, I could count on him. You know, he's going to he's going to catch the ball great. Talking punt returns, uh, he he didn't get an opportunity on kick return. Uh, we're going to try to get him one this week, uh, but uh, you know, he's a solid catcher. that gets north and south. You know, we're, we're still waiting to see. I want to see that burst, you know, the, the NFL burst. You know, you want, you want to see that. And uh, he'll probably you know, he'll get more opportunities uh, this week. So, Coach, how would you use this next game? Will you, again, put someone in there to evaluate, not like yeah. McCole or whatever? Yeah, well, we'll, I mean, it's practice. It's a glorified practice, really, what it is. And we need, we need to find out about guys, you know. So we've got to put them in, there, in those situations and find out if they can do it, if they can't do it. Uh, you'll, you'll see a little bit more of the ones for us, like our ones. Uh, you know, the first kickoff, first punt. You'll see you only got one rep last game. This, this game they'll get two, maybe even three. And the fours will probably get a little bit less. That's, that's the way we work it, you know, throughout the preseason. Coach, the, the last case that Tommy had with the Super Bowl, what can this type of game, this type of game, you know, you do for confidence? Yeah, it's, I think it's huge. I think it's, uh, you know, I always knew he had, has the talent. He has the talent. It's just about transferring, it, and it was good to see that he, he was able to do it. I think it's, it's only going to help him. You know, the experience that he had in, in the Super Bowl, I think it was great. You know, it's just how he handles it. Is it going to be a negative or is it going to be positive? And I think 
he's, he's taking the right path. Ready to break camp and yes, <laughs> I, I'm ready to break camp. You know, uh, it's hard to come back. Like after a preseason, it's, come back again. You know, you're back here. You know, it's just, I mean, it's nothing. It's St. Joe is great. You know, but it's just you're sleeping in. A, I'm 59 years old. And I'm sleeping in a dorm room. You know, it's just it's kind of hard.